Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel, y'all. Actually, I'm packing and I am moving forward. I don't care what's going on in y'all life, y'all. It's not that. I'm moving and you know I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to tell you my tea and I'm going to let you know my tea. Can y'all stop stomping? Okay, so let, let me tell you what happened. I'm dealing with someone. I've known this person for a while. He wanted something with me. I wanted something with him. However, in the same aspect, I saw the things that he was a selfish person. He looks out for himself and not others. I took care of the household and all he really did was come home and got really what he wanted. Everything was really on me. So um, I started seeing him move different. I felt like he was seeing and sleeping with other people. So that's what it was. And that's what it is. And don't get me wrong, I ended the situation. We're not together, but we were still staying in the same house. I'm moving in and I'm packing my stuff and leaving as soon as possible because he decided to bring another woman over here to sleep with her, have sex with her, you know, oral sex, you know, the whole rundown. Like my kids didn't hear it and my kids was listening to it. I'm hearing it and my kids doing all these nasty, weird things whatever's or whatever and i'm feeling some type of way and being that this is my page i'm gonna put my truths on here because i am that and then to add insult to injury i'm knocking on the door to tell them damn like can y'all calm it down like my kids is hearing it and they mimicking it you're like really sexualizing my child my kids so with that being said they started doing he's he didn't even do nothing he the, she was talking for him she was talking for him and she was saying this and she was saying that. But see, it is what it is. And then so I called the police because she thought that she was going to threaten me and jump bad. I'm downstairs. I hear her. You know what I'm saying? And when you have a two story, you hear you hear people running towards you. And he had to hold her back from hurting me. And I have a whole brain disease. So I called the police. I don't care about a person putting me out when I know I was packing my stuff to leave anyway. You feel me? But what we're not going to do is sit around here and sleep with somebody in my presence. And you was just around me trying to sleep with me yesterday, trying to kiss me on my mouth and sneak a kiss. And but for you to have a whole female here and for her to, to threaten me, you think I'm not going to call the police? And I will. And then have the nerve to bring her back. After the fact, like you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to, you, you really dealing with a dangerous situation. You can't allow yourself to think. And you know, I'm telling y'all because at the end of the day, y'all are my subscribers and I help y'all and I let y'all see what I have going on. So you know that we both are the same, but we cannot settle for a person to do us wrong, break up with a, or we break up with them. We're living in, a, and then we're, we're like, this is what it is. And it wasn't even a week. I mean, it wasn't even two weeks. It wasn't a month or any of that. They decided to start sleeping with people automatically when you couldn't give them sex. And then they had the audacity to have someone come over here in midday, you know what I'm saying, to sleep with the next female. Of course, this is his house, yes. But it's the matter of respect. You was just sleeping with me. And for you to bring another female over here to sleep with her in the same bed we slept in, and you ain't even changed your sheets. You still got me on your sheets. You feel me? You was just coming to me about situationships. But then now it's something different. See, us Geminis, we're not going to do that. And I'm going to put this on here because y'all deserve to see and hear the truth, even on me, what I have going on. And now I'm packing my stuff and I'm making plans. And there's a few people that I've been talking to on the phone and they've been helping me. And, you know, they finna help put me in a safer place because honestly, I don't have no family. My daddy could care less. I only seen my daddy one time and he could care less. And honestly, with my mama, I can't, I, I'm not even going to speak on it. You know, honestly, when you want, when you're in love, you choose who you love instead of who you really love. It is what it is. I don't care. It is what it is. All I know is at the end of the motherfucking day, it is what it is. And God is, is holding me down. God is putting me in a situation to be where I need to be at. And I'm not going to even worry about it. Cause guess what? My, uh, my home girl, like, I met her at the fish market. She is really nice. She is really helping me out. She's actually helping me with a hotel room or whatever I need to do or however it need to go. 
or whatever it is what it is I just felt like at the end of the day I'm not finna play with people I'm not finna play with my feelings people don't understand when someone says they love you and y'all thought y'all were in love and then out of nowhere they can out of within a week and a half two weeks they can bring somebody over here to have sex and you hear it and your kids hear it and there's no respect knowing that you you, you were sleeping with them just recently and now they're sleeping with somebody in your presence don't get me wrong this is their house but it's the matter of respects and how i know god is going to step in and right when my two little feet and my kids two little feet hit that door when we leave it's going to be so much mercy that god is not going to show because there was no more mercy shown towards my feelings it wasn't mercy to, shown towards the things that i you know do you know what i'm saying and i wasn't no mess up female i do my videos you feel me? I do my videos. I do what I need to do. And I make sure y'all straight. I don't really have time for none of the other riffraff. I'd rather help y'all and show y'all not to fall into this weird shit no more. Like real talk. And you heard in confirmation. Like don't, don't like learn from my situations. Don't be around someone that love bombs you real quick. I don't care how long you've known them. You can learn and know them for 10 years, 15 years and still not know them. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't be around someone that would literally have someone around them to threaten your life or somebody that literally sits around here and threaten them for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Because they're the ones doing the weird shit. I know it's plenty of females on here and plenty of men. It's like, you being with somebody, they turn around and, and, and you see that the relationship is not working, but they turn around and bring a female over here, not even two weeks after y'all stop talking and have her over here and having sex with her. But then they come out the room and he come out the room telling you, y'all, they didn't have sex. They ain't do nothing. But she's saying, walking behind him, you lying. We was having sex. He's telling this female that I'm a visitor and I'm supposed to be permanently staying here. Like, it's the lies for me, y'all. It be the lies for me. So, you know, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all my truth, you know. You know, tell y'all what's going on with me. You know, I would like to thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all describes, and everything that y'all do for me. Even coming over here to listen to me talk. Because some of y'all know, you know, I, I be, you know, helping y'all with y'all situations and helping y'all get through. And this is one of them situations when something happens one time, when something happens one time, you leave. When it happens a doozy like this, you leave. Real talk, you leave. So don't allow someone to come into your energy and be talking about some, oh, it, it wasn't like when a person show you who they are, believe them.